And today we have the secretary of Yuha Pavilion, Ganyu. In my opinion, Ganyu is one of the most damaging units in the game. She does a really good job at what she needs to do. However, there might be some difficulties if you're playing on mobile with her. Uh, should you build her? In my opinion, I'd say yes, and let me tell you why. Ganyu is a unit that particularly wants to focus on crit damage. Uh, as you can see here from my Ganyu, I have her at 200% crit damage, 40% crit rate. Uh, with my artifact set that I currently have, the Blizzard Strayer, the four piece gives you 20% more crit rate when an enemy is affected by a cryo. If the opponent is also frozen, the crit rate goes up by another 20%. So I can almost get to 60, um, I believe, what did we just say my crit rate was at? 40, I could basically get to 80% crit rate with Ganyu alone. Now, I do have a weapon that pu pushes it up. This is not the free-to-play weapon. This is the Battle Pass weapon. This one's only like $5, but obviously, you know, if you're not going to be a whale like me, uh, you just need a weapon that brings up crit rate or crit damage or just attack percent. Uh, the Rust Bow, if you're able to get it, is also a good substitute. So, my recommendation with the Artifact set are the Blizzard Strayer sets. Uh, before, I was running two-piece Blizzard, two-piece Nobles for her support if you're running her for her ult. Um, her ult's pretty good. I don't know if I would run her completely for that. I feel like you're missing out on a lot of damage. But let's say you're a mobile user, uh, charge shot's a bit difficult, you don't want to have to build up on this. Uh, you could just run her for support and have her still on your team. Um, I have a couple of attack pieces, a cryo damage piece, and then I have a crit damage piece. This one's already at 60. It's a uh, five star one. Uh, the stats are not the best, so if you can even get the stats a little bit better and have more crit damage in it, then you're going to go even further with her damage. Uh, Ganyu's normal attack is a lieutenant archery, uh, just like every other archer's shots. Uh, she has like a normal six uh, string shot pattern. Now, the thing with her is. She has a charge shot and a second level charge shot. So normally if you charge shot with Fischl or if you charge shot with Amber, you hold the bow long enough for there to be a new elemental damage for her. It's cryo damage. However, if you hold for a second charge on Ganyu, you get cryo damage and you get a scatter shot. She's, she's basically the shotgun of this game. Charge shot, as you can see, does a lot of damage. The normal one already does over, it does 180%. Uh, with the Frost Flake arrow damage, you get 190, so you're almost doing 200, right? 200%. When you're here at the Bloom, you get up to 300% damage. It's really crazy. Like, it doesn't sound so crazy here. I think with uh, Lisa, we had a, an attack that had, like, 600%, right? But it's the ease of this that's very, very good. Next, we have the Trail to Chilin. Uh, here, she leaves a flower down, and it brings enemies to it and causes a little AOE cryo damage. Uh, it's just a good bait. You can get away from people. Uh, a lot of things focus. They go full aggro on this flower. You get to step back, hold your charge shot, shoot at them from far away, uh, and get max damage on there. Also put cryo on them, and if you have the 4P set like I do, the moment that they get put with cryo, your crit rate is now higher. Her burst attack is a celestial shower. Here she sends out a orb, and the orb drops down uh, icicles that rain from a good area of effect. It's like Amber's ult, but better. Like, I, that's all, the only way I can really put it. It's a lot larger. Uh, it does a lot of damage. Depending on how far you raise up her, you know, her attack, this is 90% right here. Like, that's good. Like, it, and it lasts for 15 seconds. It's very, very good. Very nice to deal with a lot of enemies. Uh, if you add it with people like Mona or add it with any other water characters, maybe you have a Barbara. It's really good. So, one other great thing, uh, Undivided Heart. After firing the first Frost Flake arrow, the crit rate of the next one is increased by 20% for 5 seconds. She is really a crit machine. Her passive talent, uh, Harmony Between Heaven and Earth, whenever she uses the Celestial Sour, uh, grants 20% cryo bonus to active party members in the AoE. So if you're running her with other cryo characters, let's say you really like your Chun Yun, you can get him more damage. And then her passive talent gives you 15% of ores and crafting bow materials. It could be pretty nice. Constellations wise, again, I don't have any constellations on her and she does 10k damage really so i wouldn't worry too much about this if you do get her second one however uh this does decrease cryo resistance on 15 percent and that looks absolutely crazy so i'll just let you guys know and it also gives energy recharge so if you are if you're trying to go for any sort of constellation honestly you only really need constellation one like 
you really don't have to run a constellation on her. Either way, let's uh, get into the field. So as I've stated, I would say Ganyu is mainly for a DPS role. Uh, because of her crit damage, I would put her in this role before I'd put her in a support role. Originally, before her information came out, I was going to put her in a support role. But as you can see here, just from her regular shot, 12k damage. That's one shot. 12k damage again. Now, her regular string isn't that crazy. It's still 1,000. You know, it's really good. Like, that's just a good string. Uh, but her big charge shot is what really does a number to people. So as you can see here, this is the first charge. And then we get our second one pretty fast. The moment you see the little flower around her bow, like it almost looks like a flower there, you get the second shot. And the second shot almost guarantees the kill for a lot of enemies. Uh, my world is world level 5 right now. She's at level 80. So, in another world, it might be a little bit more difficult, but really, uh, most things don't change with this. It's it's just a very, very good shot. As you can see here, if I press my E skill, not only does it freeze around the area, but he'll go to attack it instead and get frozen. And here, they're also affected by cryo, or were affected by cryo, and I can just go for the shot. It's nice to leave his little decoy, maybe stack, get that nice frozen buff, now he's frozen. Frozen again, and now I can just get free damage on him. So with dealing with multiple enemies, using Ganyu's burst can be quite helpful. Let's say you need to focus on more enemies than one. You allow the orb to attack them from different areas. Uh, the It won't stagger them much, but as you can see, he's doing a pretty good amount of damage. And then you just take out the one you need. Now, it doesn't necessarily focus people, like it'll just drop them randomly, but it can focus individuals. As you saw, it wasn't just dropping them so randomly that it didn't hit any of them, but it will still target. It's just not gonna be like every icicle is not gonna hit them, you know, obviously. I think you'll get about three or four in. But one of the great things about Ganyu's super, or burst, my bad, is you can use the burst here, and then you can mix it with other ones. They can either give you freeze, maybe you just need to put them in an area, maybe a venti. As you can see, it takes care of them real quick. I can even hold them long enough for the example. <laughs> but it's really good. This 15 seconds makes it just really valuable in general, because a lot of alts don't last that long. Sucrose, this thing only has like three pumps to it. This this lasts for 15 seconds, so that's just really good. Overall, I'd say Ganyu's kit is just like a way, 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 way better version of what they were trying to do with Amber. Uh, if you're down here, please say, please give Amber a buff. Please tell Mahoyo. Because they just did Ganyu, like, super well. Even with Mona's E, I would say I this is just, like, super valuable. And this almost feels more aggro. There's a lot of times I feel like they just kind of skip over Mona's. But it's just really good. Like, this, you can't go wrong with her, really. Like, you honestly can't. So with Ganyu, I can't really say she has too many cons. Uh, it's possible, you know, if you're not really fond of charge shots. Uh, this might not be too fun if you're, like... Because there's a lot of people who don't like bow users. Um, you know, that's just kind of a thing. You're going to have to try and find the crit damage pieces or ways to push up her crits. Otherwise, she's just, like, a normal bow user. Like, there's not going to be much difference here. Um, as I said before... I do have a bow from the battle pass. It makes it a bit better. You can run an attack bow. Uh, that should also do about the same. You're going to need to bring up your crit rate, but you can really honestly do that with the blizzard pieces. And having crit rate over like 60% would be fine. But it, it really becomes a treasure hunt for her artifacts. It took me about like two weeks, I want to say, to get really good artifacts. And originally I was going to run her for support, so I made a bunch of support artifacts. Then I had to redo it and then get her the crit artifacts, you know? Um, some people say they want to run uh, Wanderer Troop. That works pretty well because of 35% uh, rate for her shots. Um, I would still go crit damage instead, though. But that one's a bit harder to farm since you have to do that with bosses. Uh, honestly, though, outside of, like, materials, there's not really, there's not really too many negatives. Uh, sometimes I can feel like her health pool is a little short, but then again, I'm just not the greatest player in the world. So, honestly, Ganyu is just a really solid unit overall. Honestly, in some degrees, I have to wonder, what was Mahoyo thinking when they made this girl so powerful? Um, Lore-wise, she's fun. Uh, Character-wise, I feel like she's one of the better characters here. I just kind of feel more sympathetic for her than anything else, you know? 
um, outside of charge shots, and I think they're giving uh, mobile players like some sort of iOS or some sort of update that's allowing them to play with a controller on their phone. So that kind of would solve the problem if that was your big issue. Not so sure about that, so don't take me 100%. Artifact running can be a pain for her, but I mean, who isn't artifact running a pain for, except maybe Noelle. I always get defense pieces. At a certain point, I was just like, oh, I guess I'll just build Noelle since I have so many. Um, her design is great. I said her character-wise is great. You just really can't go wrong with her. You've seen how many videos I've made of Ganyu of recent. <laughs> So hopefully, if you get her, I say you should build her. Um, I'll catch you all later. Be sure to subscribe. I feel like the next video we're probably going to make is Mona, because I have her set all the way done. Um, if I build Noelle up a little bit by level, we might do her next, because I feel like she's an underrated unit people kind of sleep on. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in these videos. Maybe there's any other details you'd like me to go over if you have any questions. And I'll catch you all later. See ya.